Before the battle itself is discussed, I will describe in detail the commanding officer's plan for battle. The commando patrol base was situated on Bluff Cove Peak to the west of Mount Kent. The assembly area was round on the northern slope approximately here. The objectives were the two sisters themselves. X-ray company were to assault the western two sister, Zulu company the eastern two sister, and Yankee company were to pass through Zulu company once they had secured their objective and clear the eastern spur as shown. The routes taken from the assembly area to the start lines were as follows. X-ray company's route was separate from the rest as their objective was the most southerly. They came across this saddle from Mount Kent and then marched due east to their objective. Zulu Company, Yankee Company, TAC HQ and later Commando HQ went via the Murrell Bridge, crossed it, then marched a further 300 metres where the FUP was sighted among some rocks. The rocks were to give some cover from the two sisters, which completely dominated the ground, making a covered approach impossible. The start line was to the front of the FUP, and the axis of advance as shown. Once Zulu Company secured their objective, Yankee Company, followed by Takich Q, moved round through the saddle and then went due east along the southern edge of the peak to clear enemy positions on the eastern edge of the summit. This phase was planned to take place once X-ray Company had secured the western two-sister. On the night, however, fighting was still taking place and the decision was taken to press on to the objective without waiting for X-ray Company to finish their assault. It is worth noting that this area to the east was confusing on the maps as it continued further than expected and operations had to be stopped and clearing patrols sent out later to check the area. Go. This then was the commando plan for the assault on two sisters.